Hello students, in this video lecture, I am going to explain to you the concept of covering relations in PO sets. The first question which arises is when do you say that an element is covered by another element in a PO set or when is an element in a PO set said to be cover of another element. So for this, we give the definition of cover to understand what a covering relation means. So let P less than equal to be a PO set. Then an element X belonging to P is said to be covered by another element Y belonging to P or Y is said to be a cover of X if the following two conditions are satisfied. The first condition is that X should be strictly related to Y and the second condition is that if X is related to Z and Z is strictly related to Y then this should always imply that Z is equal to X. If these two conditions are satisfied, then you say that X is covered by Y or we say that Y covers X. And in case X is covered by Y, then this is the or Y covers X, then this is the notation that you use that X is covered by Y or sometimes this is even written as Y covers X. So both, both, of, uh, both these notations are actually equivalent. Here we say that X is covered by Y or this can this particular notation can be interpreted as that Y covers X. Now the point is what is the interpretation of these two conditions which are given in the definition of a covering relation. Now when I say that uh, an element X belonging to P is covered by another element Y belonging to P then the first condition says that X must be strictly related to Y which means that X and Y are uh, both related but x is not equal to y so they should be strictly uh, they should be related in the sense that x should be related to y but x should not be equal to y also the second condition says that if there is any z uh, in between x and y then uh, if and if z is strictly related to y but if, uh, but uh, x is related to z then this z should be equal to x which means that this second condition which I have written, this can be interpreted as the, if there is any z in between x and y, then that z should be equal to x, which means that there should be no z in between x and y. If there is any z between x and y, then it should automatically become equal to x. So, or in other words, there should be no z, no element z belonging to P such that z lies between x and y. So, this means that if you interpret uh, the definition of uh, cover in a layman's language then in a layman's language an element x belonging to p is said to be covered by another element y belonging to p uh, if uh, there does not exist any z belonging to p such that x is less than z is less than y which means that y is said to cover x or x is said to be covered by y it's one and the same if there is no element of P in between X and Y or in other words if you order the elements of uh, P the element uh, there is, and if you if you just order the elements of uh, p using the uh, the partial order relation less than equal to then the element uh, uh, which comes just next after X should be Y this is the element and there should be no element in between X and Y which means that when you are drawing the hash diagram for the partially ordered set P less than equal to then X should be at the bottom and Y should be at the top and uh, there should be a line in between them because in the hash diagram we always draw uh, lines for covering relations and there is no element in between X and Y. So this uh, concept uh, can be so so basically there are um, before we come to example uh, part so this this uh, concept of a covering relation can be defined in two equivalent ways. Uh, if you are in a PO set P less than equal to then an element X will be said to be an element X in P will set to be uh, uh, covered by Y or Y is set to cover X if you have X is strictly less than Y and the second condition that must hold is that if there is any z lying between x and y then this z should be equal to x. This is one way of defining a cover. The other way of defining uh, a cover is that an element x belonging to p is said to be covered by y or y is said to cover x if there does not exist any z belonging to p such that x is less than z is less than y. So there should be no element in between x and y. So both are both these ways are equivalent ways of defining a cover. In case uh, this condition happens or the second one happens you say that x is covered by y or you say that y covers x. So this is the uh, either of the two notations can be used uh, to describe 
that uh, the cover of x is y or y covers x now uh, the point is uh, uh, coming to uh, an example uh, let us uh, just consider the example of uh, the power set which we have been taking and uh, in fact in my earlier videos I have even drawn the hash diagram of uh, the um, the PO set power set so uh, precisely the example was like that if you take x to be equal to let's say a set consisting of let's say three elements one two three and if you consider the power set of x which is the set of all subsets of x then the power set of uh, x has uh, two to the power three elements because there are three elements in the set x so uh, and the power set uh, has uh, if there are n elements in the underlying set x then the power set has two to the power element uh, n elements now in this case x has has three elements so the power set has two to the power three which is eight elements and if we list out those eight elements then the eight elements are uh, the empty set five then uh, singletons one two three then uh, we have subsets consisting of two elements each one two then one three and then two three and then finally you have uh, the set one two three that is the set x itself so these are the eight uh, subsets uh, that you have uh, for the power set of x and we know very well that power set of x with respect to inclusion relation is a po set and if we try to draw the hash diagram of this which we have already done in the earlier video videos then the hash diagram of this uh, po set is uh, something like this it is in the form of a cube uh, like this So this this is uh, this has been discussed already in my earlier videos on hash diagrams that how this comes out to be the uh, hash diagram of the uh, the PO set power set of X with respect to inclusion relation and now we we uh, this is the hash diagram of the power set of X with respect to inclusion relation or with respect to the relation uh, is subset of or is contained in so here uh, the element which is at the bottom is the empty set the element which is at the top is the set X. And here at this level the elements are uh, singletons 1 2 and 3 and uh, the element at this point is 1 2 the element at this point is 1 3 and the element at this point is 2 3 and now you we can uh, see uh, looking at this hash diagram that uh, for the element phi because phi is contained in 1 this particular element that just above uh, this uh, empty set the next element to the empty set is one the singleton one so this element is acting like a cover for phi so the singleton one is a cover for for phi for the same reason because phi is contained in two so this is also like acting as a cover for phi and again for the same reason because phi is contained in three so this singleton three is also acting as a uh, cover for the singleton phi so similarly uh, going by the same argument so there are three covers for the empty set if we go by the same argument here if we uh, consider this particular element 2 we can see that the uh, element which is just at the top of 2 there are two elements which are just at the top of 2 singleton 2 2 3 and 1 2 so you have 2 singleton 2 is contained in 2 3 and singleton 2 is also contained in 1 2 so both of them are acting as both these elements this is a cover of singleton 2 and this is also a cover of singleton 2 but uh, if you if you say uh, that uh, here if you if you just consider if you compare this element with this element i know that phi is contained in uh, 1 2 but this particular element is not acting like a cover for phi y because there is an element one in between because you have phi is contained in uh, one and this is contained in so this is not equal but it is contained strictly and it is contained in one two so there is an element of p in between and for uh, if uh, for this element to be a cover of phi there should be nothing in between and we are finding that there is a singleton one in between which means that this element fails to be uh, the 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 set one two fails to be a cover of phi so likewise uh, we can find cover of each element so uh, phi or the empty set has got three covers and as far as x this element which is the topmost element is 
concerned this has got no cover so anything can happen in a PO set uh, you can have one cover you can have uh, an element can have one cover an element can have more than one cover or it can happen that an element may have no cover at all so that was all about uh, when is an element uh, set to be covered by another element in a PO set or when do you say that an, an element in a PO set covers another element in a PO set so uh, and uh, whenever there is a relation like that uh, for example this one uh, then such a relation in which phi uh, has a, uh, has cover one or one or the singleton one covers phi then such a relation is called a covering relation so that was all about uh, covering relation in a pure set